Hi boys and girls. Happy Thursday. I um, am going to read you a book today. I'm starting it. It's a chapter book and it's called The Doll People. Now, some of you might be thinking, oh, I don't know if I want to hear a book about dolls, but you will love this book. It has two doll families. One is an old-fashioned doll family in an old doll house. The other is a more modern doll family in like a plastic kind of Fisher Price doll house. And it is a mystery as well because one of the characters disappears for a while. And the, um, and uh, so here are some of the pages. I'm sending you some of these pictures so you can see what the end pages look like. And that's what the old dollhouse looks like. And here is what the inside of it looks like, because you know I love to see things like that. And as stories go on, I like to go back and look at these pictures, or maybe look at a map if that's on the end pages to figure out where everybody is. And um, the other thing that I know some of you who love cats will like is that there is a character in this book named Captain, and he is a cat. And uh, he causes a little bit of mischief too. So my plan is to read one chapter each day to you. And here we go. Today we'll start with the prologue, and here is a picture of Annabelle, Annabelle doll. So you know that we probably got this, we did, from Annabelle's grandma, who bought this for her, and my daughter Annabelle, because it has her name in it, and it's spelled exactly like Annabelle spells it. So you ready? It had been 45 years since Annabelle doll had last seen Auntie Sarah. And 45 years is a very long time, especially for an eight-year-old girl. The dollhouse, where Annabelle lived with her family, hadn't changed much over the years. True, tiny things had been added or had been broken or lost. A rug that had lain on the floor under the dollhouse had been taken away and never replaced. Panes of glass had fallen out of some of the windows in the dollhouse. And the wallpaper in the kitchen had been painted over. But those were small changes. The dolls themselves had remained the same as well. Their china skin was a bit grayer, so they're made out of china. They're um, like made out of a special like glass, so they're fragile dolls. If you dropped them, they would break. And so their arms and legs and faces are all made out of china, and then they probably have cloth bodies. So their china skin was a bit grayer, and their clothes were a bit more frayed. But otherwise, otherwise, they looked almost the same as they had the day Auntie Sarah was lost. And I am thinking that Auntie Sarah is one of the dolls that, you, that lived in the dollhouse, but now she's not there. And she's been gone for 45 years. In fact, the dolls looked very much the same as they had when they first arrived at 26 Weatherby Lane. So that is the address of the house that the dollhouse is in. So it's inside of a real house. And that's where Captain lives. However, they had once been a family of eight, if you included, as the dolls did, the children's nanny as a member of the family. And now they were a family of seven. Outside the dollhouse, in Kate's room and beyond, everything changed. Little girls grew up and had little girls of their own. People left the house and went to work or on vacations. History was made. Things happened, but inside the dollhouse, not much happened as far as Annabelle was concerned. The only important event in her entire 100-year life was that Auntie Sarah had disappeared. But today, the second most important event had occurred. Annabelle had found something that had belonged to Auntie Sarah. No one knew she had found it. Not Kate Palmer, that's the owner of the dollhouse. Not any of the dolls. And keeping a secret in a house like Annabelle's was awfully hard. It might even be impossible, Annabelle thought, except for the fact that there was no one with whom Annabelle wanted to share a secret. And here is Annabelle, and she's holding something. See it? And that is the end of the prologue. And I'm going to stop this video now, and then I'm going to read you chapter one in the next one. Bye!